Hey, so I'd like to start out by giving a big shout out to Mr. Frederick Wheeler for asking me to provide him with this video. Um, I'd like to thank all of the D and D how to D and D community for the uh, outstanding support and uh, positive feedback that I got from those guys when I was posting pictures of this as I was making it. Uh, this is my rendition of Cragmaw Castle from the Lost Minds of Fendelver. Uh, campaign um, just a brief kind of how I got to where it is uh, started out with the map provided in the book um, just went through counted squares based on the one square is five feet and using a one inch grid to work with the uh, minis uh, determined the overall shape of the map size of the map and uh, started out with the, the basic outline for the first layer. Uh, I think I actually did that in two pieces, so it was a little more manageable. Uh, some people ask what it was made out of. Uh, it's just made out of half-inch foam insulation from the uh, hardware store. I uh, just used some really basic tools to, to cut and uh, lay it out. Straight edge. I uh, kind of made up this little deal to cut my circles with uh, once I had it all put together I used hot glue for some and uh, PVA glue for other parts depending on what parts I was working on um, once I got it all put together I uh, gave it a good coat of Mod Podge for uh, durability uh, and just to base coat everything up in black I put some black paint in that uh, and then uh, with some small like uh, craft paint sponges uh, and just typical craft paint, I went through and painted it all up and added the texture. And uh, enough of me talking. How about a quick tour? There's the adventuring party. And uh, I've got a few other miniatures scattered throughout. Some are correct to the adventure and some are not. So... Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks again for all the support.